of right now, no. We, we got nothing else. We got nothing else. All right, let's go ahead and dive into our NF, well, NFL previews. It is the AFC West and the NFC West today. We're going to start with the AFC West. And I got to tell you, I'm a, I'm a little pumped to be talking about this division, man. There's some, uh, there's some interesting teams here. And we'll go ahead and fire it off with, uh, with the Denver Broncos. Vic Fangio in his second season, they went 7-9 and nine last year. Um, you know, I, not too shabby last year. I, they, they started out not great and, and ended up okay. Hey, let's go through some of the stats here. Number 26 in offensive yards per play. They had 5.0 yards per play last year. Defensive yards per play, they gave up 5.4. That was number 13 in the league. Turnover margin was number 13 in the league at plus 0.1 turnovers per game. So not too shabby. The question here, is Drew Locke good? Is he the future? Is he the guy that's going to get this thing done? He has got talent all around him, right? They've got Noah Fant. They got uh, Jerry Judy. They got uh, Cam Sutton. They got uh, uh, they brought in Gordon. You know, they, they got guys. They've still got Phillip Lindsay there. They got dudes on offense. Is the offense going to be potent enough to be able to get this done? On defense, I mean, they added A.J., uh, uh, how do you say his name? Boye? Is it Boye? Yeah. Uh, they got uh, uh, Glasgow. They got uh, Jarrell Casey. They got, uh, you know, they've got in Von Miller and uh, and Bradley Chubb. And I think Bradley Chubb's going to be healthy this season. I think Von Miller's going to, you know, wait, now that he's got more people around him, he will be free to get back to what he's used to doing. I don't, I don't have a problem with the defense at all. My question is, is Drew Locke going to be able to get the playmakers the ball? And I, I think they're going to be just fine. I really like this team this year. Uh, by the way, the win total set at 7.5, and, and I think that that is insanely low. The over is minus 130. The under is plus 100. You can find that over at Bet Online. And, uh, and to win the division over at Bet Online, they are plus 800. I mean, just absolutely ridiculous, uh, which it makes sense because the Chiefs are in the division, but... I've got this team going ten and six, man. I love the Broncos this year. So I, I got them somewhere between eight and eight and seven and nine. So we're nine and seven. We're not we're not too total you know, terribly apart. I think this team stinks a whole lot like the Cleveland Browns last year. Yeah, just too much hype too early. A lot. Well, it's not even the hype because I don't know that a ton of people are talking about them. But it's you have an unproven quarter a uh, coach an unproven quarterback that had a good finish to a year true but we don't really know a lot about him and we just loaded him up full of weapons all right and and at the end of the day people were thinking oh this team can make a run this and another i definitely bought into the hype it, it, at some point in time i just don't know you know it's funny that that Cleveland Browns team opened up with the Titans and they were like pretty big favorites against the Titans and everybody was just like, why did why did we think that this team was going to be good? And the Titans just came in and beat the crap out of them. The Broncos this year, week one, open up with the Titans. Yep. And, uh, and, and, and I just think, you know, is this one of those things where everybody's just falling into a pit again? Um, and, and so, I don't you know. You might we'll be right. See. I mean, you eight, might be right. Eight and eight, nine. And, I would love to see them go nine and seven. I like this football team. I love Vic Fangio. Uh, so you know we'll we'll see how how it actually works out. It's all gonna hinge on Drew Locke. I well, mean, and, Baker and, Mayfield. Baker Mayfield had all the weapons in the world last year, and he was terrible. Do do okay. you trust Drew Locke with Pat Shermer, who who they brought in as their offensive coordinator? No, oh, Pat Shermer's yeah. gonna be fine. He's been an OC in this league forever. Yeah, agreed, agreed. I, but that's the thing. It's you know it can can those two create a, a good enough chemistry. A good uh, dynamic you know, chemistry. He's got to play well. well yeah, See, that's, but so you got to be able. This to... Isn't, a, it isn't about chemistry. It's not. A, he's going to know the playbook. He's going to know what 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 he's doing when he goes out there. Is he going to execute? Is he going to play well? Yeah, and I, and that's the question. Can that he is make the, the throws? Can he not make the bonehead mistakes? There's a reason there's a sophomore slump all the time on these guys. Uh, it Drew just worries me. Okay, he just worries me. I can. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I can understand it. I can understand it. I like them a lot. I, I think they're, I think they're a ten and six football team, um, but I, I do really love Vic Fangio, so <laughs> I might be giving them a little bit. That defense has to figure out a way to be good because they weren't good last year, yeah. and you can't say, "Oh, well, Bradley Chubb was hurt." No, you didn't have Bradley Chubb before that, and you were really good. So, yeah. 
No, you you gotta you gotta figure this thing out. I mean, they, I think they brought in some uh, some veteran leadership. I you know I think they're going to be fine, and I trust a defense with Fangio. You know, I just I mean, I, I did too last year. I don't know why they were so bad. Uh, they were yeah, it was strange early. It was strange early, but I mean, when it comes down to it, you know, at, at end of the season for a, for an entire year, they were number thirteen in yards per play, and that is really the pivotal stat when you're looking at a team and how they did. Uh, McKinnon jumped in. He said, I truly think the Broncos are the only team in this division that could give the Chiefs a run for their money. The other teams have the potential, but I just don't see them putting it together like the Broncos or Chiefs. I don't, I don't um, think the Broncos are any different than the other teams. This, I think they're better than the other teams in this division. I don't think they're any different than them. Yeah, he said, uh, he said I've got the Chiefs, Broncos, Raiders, and Chargers in final order for this division. 